wildest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Take a look right now at your entire day's worth of weather in just eight seconds. Here's a time lapse from the Palmer Divide camera, our Dutch Heritage Gardens camera. And we had sunshine this morning, the clouds built, and then it looked like a few clouds wanted to produce some rain, weren't very efficient at doing so. And then as quickly as they built, they got out of here just in time for the evening. Now we are still tracking a few showers just to the south and west of Cripple Creek, and Skycast is suggesting that we'll keep a few of those storms around as we head into the night tonight and then into early tomorrow morning. While those storms may stick around the mountain locations, we should see everything really winding down shortly after midnight. So we are expecting a quiet night for most. The temperatures will begin to drop. We'll start the day tomorrow in the 50s and 60s, but enjoy those 50s and 60s because it is going to be another hot one. We'll hit 88 degrees in Colorado Springs, 96 degrees will be your high temperature in Pueblo. Really, the only good news I have to report about the high temperatures tomorrow, Lamar shouldn't get into the hundreds today. So good news there, but we're still getting to 99, which is still very hot. So it is going to be a toasty Wednesday afternoon. I'm going to start SkyCast beginning at noon tomorrow because during the first half of the day, We'll have nothing but sunshine. It won't be until noon when things start to get interesting. The clouds will build over the mountains and we'll get a few isolated storms to develop over the mountains as well. That will last until 2 o'clock and then beyond 2 o'clock we could see a few of those storms sliding to the east over the interstate. Best chance for that will be along the Palmer Divide near Denver and we could even see an isolated storm around the springs. That isolated storm decides to pop up over the Waldo Canyon burn scar. Of course we'll be monitoring the potential for flash flooding. Pueblo not that great of a chance for you to get storms instead the best chance for heavy rain producing cells will be over the mountain locations tomorrow afternoon, something that we will obviously be keeping a very close eye on. 88 degrees tomorrow in Colorado Springs will hit 86 on Thursday, 85 Friday, and then watch what happens over the weekend. Temperatures drop from the mid 80s into the low 80s. Now, I'm not trying to suggest that low 80s are cool by any means, but in comparison to the mid 90s, should feel quite a bit better. Most active time frames, Thursday, Friday, and then again Sunday into Monday. So those will be the days where we'll have uh, the best chance, if you will, to get some flooding concerns around the Waldo Canyon burn scar. Pueblo, we are expecting a high temperature tomorrow of 96. 93 degrees Thursday, 92 Friday, 90s on Saturday, then 80s on Sunday. So even Pueblo getting into the 80s as we head into the weekend. Canyon City, 90s will take us all the way through Friday. Saturday, 89 degrees, 86 on Sunday, low 80s Monday. Then we're back in the 90s come Tuesday with a chance for storms each and every afternoon. Teller County, we are expecting a chance for storms each and every afternoon. Also, between a 20 and 30 percent chance. Temperatures in the 70s over the next week. Nice right, and cool like there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Well, it's no secret our stormwater system.